Hey, look, it's my buddy Mike Levin. Whoa, it's my. Is this your car? That is my car. Did you hit Kermit on the way over? I didn't hit Kermit on the way over. <laughs> This is Green Hill, Randy. Uh, Mike Levitas. Come on over and see it. Okay. Come on, let me let me give you a tour. What is this thing? It appears to be a 911. It is. This is my uh, 911 Turbo. What year? This is a 2014 car. What are you doing with such an old car? A 14? 14, the old car. This car is six years old. You won't know you that when you drive it. You should run with the vintage Camaros and Mustangs over here. Bite your tongue. Is this even a 991? This is nine. Of course it's 991. Okay. 2014? Well, at least it's in this no, current it's, generation. It's current generation. No, it isn't. Not anymore. You know what would scare now you? Now we got a 992. You know, you know what would scare you about the car? The power. 940 horsepower. That would actually freak you out. It would scare me, but I want it. No, you wouldn't actually be scared. The car, the delivery of the performance is so, it's the perfect balance of chassis, aero, and power. Never, ever wants to hurt you. Oh, wait a minute. That's why you go fast. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know why what? you developed that you suspension. No, I did. To make yourself better. No, to make everybody you know, when you, better. When you can't drive that good, you need to have really good suspension. Wait a minute. When it really comes down to it. DSC Sport. DSC Sport. No, but, the DSC Sport, what it does is it is not only the great equalizer, yeah. It's also the modern way of getting chassis performance because you no longer have any. Um, there's no downside. There's no. There's there's absolutely no give and take. You don't get like incredible performance, but horrible ride. There's oh, no compromise. Oh, well, how do you do that? Because are you, you changing got... the shocks when you drive down the road? You just pull out one set and put another set in. Basically, but we're doing that at five hundred twelve thousand times per second. We're making the decision and half a meg. That sounds like the country road on the way to my house. You probably have to change the shocks 512,000 times a second no, on you don't that have road. To. If you actually had some people in, stuck in the front trunk and the back trunk, yeah. and you're driving down the road, they could sit yeah. there and you bark out the commands. Well, that's what this does. Basically what we're doing is, and it also allows you, Randy, you know that the spring platform is, 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 is a must. Porsches like to have a lot of platform, not too much spring, but then you have a compromise of a horrible ride. But when you have a shock valving that has this infinite range going from like a race shock when we race down to being like a street car, like a, even lower than a street car, or like an old school nice ride, then you have a no compromise. And depending on the load, depends on the valving, the spring, where you're at, and the load is in real time. It's based on rate of change, throttle position. You gotta pressure. be doing that electronically. Oh yeah, this is done with the DSC Sport computer. That makes that everything else old fashioned, oh, right? Like, I right. have to get out and turn a knob and blah. Sometimes I have to crawl under the car. You do. And remember also. But not this. No, not this. But this car also wow. came with electronic dampers to begin with. Oh, uh, yeah. So you don't really have the option of putting old school on it. The Magneta Hero Logical. No. I can't say that word. No, you can't because that's the GM stuff next to it. Oh. See the, see the really this? cool GM car? Right. Yeah, that's that's magnetic. Nice. And nice. That's, right. nice one. I think his wing is bigger than yours. Oh, well, no, it isn't. No, 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 he isn't. No, it he isn't. stole that off my ZR1, oh. but that's another story. <laughs> oh, okay. But no, this has actually a traditional type of shim stack, originally from Bilstein. And oh. we just went major steps forward. We made it fully active, and then we also made it no compromise. So basically, we have a tractive damper that's oh. beyond the, it's like in the quality range of like the you know the multimatic the penske yeah well, it's in a real high-end place yeah but we built it so that it has this infinite adjustability and in total no compromise anything even if it's raining wow. you're not pulling the g-force you are in the drive this right. thing on right. a 200 treadwear tire well, it's soft in the rain on a 200 treadwear tire i'm pulling 1.64 g's laterally wow. one six four that's how i'm wow. going faster than the cars with a thousand horsepower I brought them green hell. Wait till they get a load of this. When do I get to try it, Mike? When do you want to try you it? You know, I don't want to watch. Oh, you got to come and watch. Come and watch me. <laughs> I love you. I'll root for you, though. Oh, I know you All are. the way, man. Thank you. Because you're the man. Thank you. And you Have you won one of these yet? You have, haven't you? I have. You? That's why I got here. More than one? Oh. No, I've only competed in two this year. I oh. got to tell you something. You the have to win to come to this final event at Las the Vegas. Invitational. The Invitational. Right, the Invitational. Nothing but the best. The best. There's some beautiful cars lined up these here. These are My serious gosh. machines. This is yes. no, I mean, these are serious 
street cars. Show and race. Right? And no they do it all. On the race. Yeah. I don't think there's a car in this lineup that has less than 750 aspirated horsepower. Wow. Not one. There's wow. the Viper, like Austin's car up. That's a thousand yeah. horsepower to the tire. Wow. Wow. Not, you know, this is like, and they're driving extremely well. The yeah. setups are amazing. We've got a lot of DSC products in quite a few of the cars here. Oh, C7s, really? GT350Rs. Like there's a host of car, even in a GTR, full track, yes. full uh, DSC sport suspension yeah. in GTR. Wow. And he's actually the top competition. He oh. beat me. He beat me at Daytona in one of the disciplines. Oh. My own suspension. I loved it. I was proud of that. <laughs> I'm still proud of it. <laughs> this is the performance of this car now. This wow. is why this is Green Hill. This is over. This is on the pump gas file. This pump gas over 800 horsepower to the tire. Wow! And look at the torque it goes up to 650 foot pounds by 6400. Wow! Is that something to drive? That's fantastic. Don't you want to drive this? Yes. I cleaned everybody's clock at Daytona, and I haven't been there on since the track. Since I have not been there since we won the 24 hours. Bring back good memories. Oh God, did it ever? Yeah, we run the won the Rolex 24 at Daytona. Mike yeah. and I were TPC racing long time ago, back in 2006. Yeah, TC did strategist. The strategy. TC Klein, major, major talent when it comes to strategy in a race. He's a good general. Yeah, don't you remember everybody coming to us and wondering how in the heck we figured out the strategy? Everybody had row and row of laptops and engineers. We had a bar napkin, basically, and TC, he had a <laughs> bit of photographic memory. Oh. At all times, we knew where we were on the track. We oh. needed two tires, a driver fuel in two tires, four tires. He always knew. We knew the time that it took for the pace car. We always had it covered. Yeah, and the uh, onboard jacks failed. Oh yeah, well that was... We had to go old school. Old school. And then we did even better because we actually fueled faster because I got the rear of the car higher than the uh, air jacks. Oh. And we were doing the rears before we did the fronts. Nobody told oh. you because we already had that strategy built in. Oh. We actually knocked two to four seconds per pit stop out of it. No kidding. That's major. <laughs> It is. We it takes a long time to get four seconds yeah. on somebody on the racetrack. You can't do that. You, you can't, can't do it, especially the good guys. No, you can't get it back. At Daytona, no. you have everybody from all over the world. Yeah, you're not going to competition. Get Let's go do it again. We could still win that. All you yeah, need is a million I'm, bucks. I would do that with you. Just well, this is your uh, screen test. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure you're passing. You're quiet. like talkative. Oh, I'm like a we're only four to seven minutes. Oh well, then we're we're kind of done. We're gonna get edited out. Damn. <laughs> Love you, brother. Well, that's the Optima Ultimate Street Car Challenge part of SEMA because they're racing this weekend, and the Optima cars are like rolling SEMA cars. They carry a lot of the parts that are being sold here at the SEMA show. Which, when we get down to it, what is SEMA? It's a way for different companies to promote their products to shops that will sell the products. That's really what it is. And it's not for retail. It's not for everybody in the public, the general public to come in and buy the products. It's for the people that sell the products to hook up with the companies that make them. That's what SEMA is. And I love it because you get kind of an inside view of all the latest, greatest updates and machinery. It's as we've seen from all these cars and the people we met, it's just a fantastic, fun place to be for somebody who loves cars. We'll see you back next year.